So I've known Chetan a while. Each time I meet him at a party or somebody else's house, I keep bugging him and asking him <laughs> questions. It's become like second nature. But today I get to bug you in isolation, like <laughs> get you stuck in one location for many hours. So tell us a bit about your long, illustrious journey in EVs. By the way, I have to add this thing. I call Anand uh, Mahindra for like. I was just trying to do research on this industry. Mm -hmm. And then I told him, you're coming. Mm. And he was like, Chetan is like the godfather of our industry. <laughs> he started the, he yeah. started this off before EVs Tesla. were a thing in India. Before Tesla, right? When did you begin first? So I got into electrics in 1990. And I, I know, maybe I don't know if you were born <laughs> at that point. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I, I got into, um, uh, uh, racing solar cars at when I was at college. Wow! And uh, we was part of the team at Michigan. We raced from Florida to Michigan, and we came first in in the U.S. And uh, GM sponsored us to uh, race in Australia for the World Championship. So we're a bunch of twenty year olds. We raised a million bucks, uh, put a solar car together, and we raised from. You raised twenty million bucks. One million. One. Yeah. We raised 20 year olds, but you know, we raised from Darwin to Adelaide, which is 3,200 kilometers in the world championship. We came third in the world. Um, um, Honda came in second. And uh, for me, that you could travel a continent on sun energy, was like, wow, this is the future. Right? So that's what I want to do. So, uh, um, and- a fantastic uh, name. Sorry? It had a fantastic name. I think it's called Sunrunner. Sunrunner, yeah. 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 Um, so we're, and then a bunch of us said that when we graduate, let's start something in electric vehicles. So five of us used to meet and every uh, two weeks and decide on what business plans would come the out. The US? The US. And then one of my friend's father, uh, it was a PhD from Caltech. He invented the airbags and uh, did a lot of seatbelt work and sold that company to TRW. He loved our idea as a mentor. And he says, come and work for me. So we all ended up working in California in 91 doing electric vehicles. Um, and uh, I, I went to grad school after that at Stanford and I did a lot of work on hybrid electric vehicles. I felt that uh, electrics needed a host of uh, ele electronic software, mechanical, and that was a great program that kind of combined uh, all of this stuff. And went back to this company, had already gone public by then, um, and started doing electric vehicles with them in, uh, in California. And that's the time California was switching from, uh, they were, they were, they, the aerospace industry was dying, and so they were switching it to uh, EVs. Mm. So there was a big push from, uh, you know, both uh, Bush administration, later the Clinton administration, to, to get electrics on that front. Um, and that's when the time when I came back to work for him, I said, listen, I think the market, my mentor I asked told him the market, I think is going to be on um, uh, in India and China and in developing countries. And these solutions we need for these are different. So he liked the idea and the concept of Reva was born as what I would initially call an Asian electric vehicle for developing countries. Um, and um, post that. As when did Reva launch? Which year? We launched in 2001. Wow. So it's 22, oh, year, 22 years ago. Mm. We developed in the late 90s, right? Mm. So it's, um, it was a very different time then, right? Because mm. you just didn't, you didn't have people, you didn't have investors, you didn't have the tech side of it. Reva started in 2001. Yeah, so. Um, Why Reva the name? My mother's name. Revati. Oh. No, Reva. Reva. Manana means a, means a new beginning in Sanskrit. Mm. And, I always thought uh, Reva was like revolution or yeah. well, revolution. Well, I mean, once you get no. the marketing guys, it's a revolution electric vehicle <laughs> yeah. alternate, the no. EV joined together, which almost every company uses that same EV that I we put 21 mm. years ago. I look at them and go, I thought we trademarked so that, but it seems like everyone's it. using it. <laughs> Anyways, I was doing work in India and the US at that point. Half the tech was here, half the tech was there. So uh, honestly, I'm a technologist. I wasn't an entrepreneur, right? Just to me, I was passionate about my tech side. But then I said, okay, to build a business, I had to become an entrepreneur. I had a friend teach me how to put spreadsheets to create a business plan, right? <laughs> uh, 
and um, try to go and start to raise capital and got some seed capital from our family business. Uh, ICICI. What is your family business? Uh, automotive components, aerospace, electric material handling. So if you look at the golf carts and most of the airports are from us. So we've been doing the, all of that for a while. Um, but this was uh, quite different from, from that point of view. And so I got some seed capital there. I got ICICI mm -hmm. and Technology Development Board, mm -hmm. which is hard because, you know, you're 29 and you ask someone that oh, you want to get money for electric vehicles in India. And the first thing they ask, where does this work in the world? Mm -hmm. and, um, and to give a 29 year old, uh, that was, you know, I must say it was very good for those financial institutions to give you debt at that time because VC money in that was just non-existent at that point. Built that out and then um, in 2001 we launched, uh, one month after we launched the government pulled the plug uh, on subsidies and actually one month before we launched and doubled the taxation on electric vehicles. Why was and that? And reduced taxes on petrol vehicles. Why? Well, <laughs> look at who were, the, who were the players at that time in the country. <laughs> and it was just, you know, it didn't feel, I mean, people didn't want electrics to work. Right. And uh, seriously, yeah. I always thought that was just bureaucracy not getting it. No. They were already anti electric at that point. Well, think about it. One month before all of this done, all of that disappeared. Subsidies that were there, you built the business on the fact that this was given and confirmed. So, who got the subsidy? If, they, if, if you guys weren't in live in the market, who really got Nobody the subsidy? Nobody got it. They just killed the whole subsidy without giving it to anybody. Without giving anyone. And they also increased wow. taxes. This 2000? 2001, mm. right? So global financial crisis. It was a, it was a, it was a big issue, and so I think the the only way to survive was actually looking at global markets. So we actually went to 24 countries. UK was my largest market. So in 2005, 2006, um, Tesla raised money from uh, Draper. Uh, others did. So you know, Draper Fisher Investor and us amongst others. So there was a bit of clean tech capital coming out in 2005, 2006. It's the first signs of clean tech, right? Mm -hmm. If you remember that, you know, the VC industry was changing a bit. So we got some VC money. And then in 2010, was at the Frankfurt Motor Show, we were showcasing our new products, only Indian company. And everyone was talking billion dollar investments, right? Tesla had already got a billion. Nissan was talking 1.5, GM was talking 2 billion. And I said, this needs a different level of investments. It was still hard to come by in India. And I found ourselves very good in tech. So I licensed our entire technology to General Motors. Mm -hmm. So we showcased this electric spark platform in 2010 at the auto show. Um, but a few, three months later, GM got bought by uh, SAIC in China. And so, you know, they changed their strategy. And that's the time I spoke with, with Anand. And, thing. and initially what started as a technology licensing went to um, you know, getting a majority of the company in 2010. And to me, the vision was more important. You know, can we build electric mobility mm -hmm. at scale? And uh, you know, ran that till 2015, um, built up a bunch of products on seven products for Mandra on their platform, got them into also racing. So you see the Mandra racing, I started that business too. Um, and then, um, uh, you know, step down to kind of think, rethink, because it was a long time. And that's when idea of Sun Mobility came up to, um, to start looking at kind of the questions we've been talking about, right? Range anxiety, cost, refueling time. So I said, if you could actually solve these problems, um, there's going to be a huge opportunity. Hi, I'm Nikhil Kamath. I'd love to know what you thought of the episode. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.